Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday Manatee to you. Monday Manatee is coming today to you on location. I am in Guadalajara, Mexico, uh, preaching and just uh, seeing God move, do great and mighty things. I'm doing a leaders training tomorrow and just have had an incredible weekend already watching God just bless people, set people free. We've seen people baptized in the Holy Spirit. We've seen people set free from bondages and addictions. It has been a fantastic first weekend. Excited for all that God has for the rest of the week. Um, but just wanted to take some time today and just speak with you and share with you what's on my heart. It's found in uh, Proverbs 24, 14. I'm sorry, 24, 16. It says a righteous man falls seven times, but gets up every time. It says a righteous man falls seven times, but gets up every time. And I want to tell you, the scripture uses the word seven a lot. And seven is not a conclusive number. Like you can only fall seven times. It's a number that means just this repetitive thing. Like a righteous man's going to fall down. We're going to fall. We're going to fall many times, not seven times. We're going to fall 70 times, 70 times, 70 times, 70. That's the truth. We are fallen individuals and we are people that have frailties and have sin and have issues that we're struggling with. Our our sin nature has been put to death, but how many know it likes to resurrect every now and then? And so we're going to make many mistakes. We're going to fall. We're going to do things that we go, come on, I knew better than that. And we're going to get discouraged by that. And the Bible says, you're going to fall. You're going to fall again and again and again. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to mess things up. You're going to do things that you shouldn't do and say things that you shouldn't say. The deal is this. A righteous man gets back up every time. You fall, you repent, and you get up. You repent, and you get up. And you repent, and you get up every single time. A righteous man doesn't sit in the failure. He cleans off his pants, and he gets up, and he does it again. He leans on the Lord more. He learns from the mistake that he made. He moves forward. You might fall 70 times. Get up every single time. Our nature often is if I mess up is to sit there and just, oh, I can't do this. I can't fit. And the Lord is saying, stop, don't do that. A righteous man is going to fall. We're all going to make mistakes. The Bible is clear about that. We're not perfect. We strive to be perfect, but we don't strive in our own strength. We strive in his strength. And so We're going to fall many, many, many times. Child of God, get up every time. Every single time, Lord, I'm sorry. I repent. And repent has two parts. It's not just saying I'm sorry. Repent means I turn from my sin and I return to God. I come back to God. It's a two-part turn. I turn and I return. I return back to God. I repent and I go again. And I strive again and I move forward again. It doesn't matter how many times you fall. It only matters how many times you get up. Keep getting up. Keep doing better. Don't just receive the fall and just stay there. And don't take God's grace lightly. Don't just say, oh, God will just forgive me. No. A righteous man will honor God's grace. You'll fall, but you get back up again with the intention to what? Not fall again. You get with the intention that, Lord, I'm going to lean on you more. I'm going to figure out what caused these mistakes, God. I'm going to figure out how I ended up doing this, and I'm going to rise again. Child of God, you need to rise every single time. Every time you fall, you need to get back up again and say, God, let's do this again. I messed this up, but let me try again. I said something I shouldn't have said. I acted in a way I shouldn't have acted. I lost my temper. I I did something wrong, God, but I'm going to get up. And let me tell you something, child of God. Sometimes getting up means you need to get help. Maybe there's something that you're struggling with that you need someone to pray with you about. Don't be proud. Be humble enough to get someone to pray with you. That's part of rising up is the humility to say, I need, I want to stand. I want to succeed. I want to be victorious and I need help doing it. Maybe I need someone to talk to. Maybe I need someone to pray with. Maybe I need an accountability partner. Maybe I need to go to my pastor for deliverance. Maybe I need deliverance from something. Any of those things are on the table. Because you want to rise. You want to be everything God has called you to be. So you're going to fall many times. But make sure to get up every single time. Don't stay there. Repent and get up. Repent and get up. And keep moving forward. A righteous man's going to fall seven times. But he's going to get up every time. And so, Father, I pray for everyone in the sound of my voice today. God, I pray that you would encourage them, God, that we are all going to make mistakes, God, but that we need the courage and the strength to get up again and to move forward, to get up again, Lord God, and say, okay, God, 
I'm going to brush this off and move forward. Father, not to, not to over um, use your grace, God, and think that because there's grace, we can do whatever we want. No, we receive, Lord God, that we need to repent, that we need to ask for your forgiveness, that we need to change our ways, God, and that we need to live lives that please you. But Father, we're not going to fall and stay there. We're going to fall and get back up every single time and do better because your spirit is with us and your presence is with us. And Father, I pray, God, that you'd give everyone courage, God, to step into what you have for them, to pursue a life that's holy and righteous, Lord God, and to pursue you with all that they have. Father, I pray for anyone who has any addictions, Lord God, any bondage, any, any sin that they're struggling with today, Lord God, that they can't seem to overcome. I pray deliverance over them right now in the name of Jesus. I pray freedom over them in the name of Jesus. And Father, I pray, God, that you'd give them the courage and the wisdom to get someone to pray for them, someone to walk with them, someone to encourage them, Lord God, so they don't have to figure this out on their own. I thank you, God, that a righteous man will fall seven times and he'll get up every single time. Bless them, I pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great week, everybody.